Welcome back everyone, time for the space piracy to continue. People already came up with a nickname for this ship, some call it the Red Machine, some call it the Red Comet. Both nicknames are pretty good, I like them, and hopefully in the future I will rename this ship into the Red Machine because I think it's quite a quite a appropriate name. Uh, and I, of course I did get the color of this ship totally by accident, I couldn't see the color of the nanocore then. After I have reinstalled, I actually could see them. Now, speaking of nanocores, uh, I've been thinking which one to get. Or, actually, to be honest, I'll, I've, been, I've been thinking to save my conquer points for the future nanocores. Now, this current ship, as well as the Stratios, don't have the new nanocores that were released in the recent updates. Not quite sure why they haven't been added, but okay. Currently only six faction cruisers uh, do have these nanocores. And I've been thinking to get one for my Ashimu. Now let me just quickly take the Ashimu and show you the stats of the, of the nanocore. They're still pretty good stats. Uh, I mean, they're still very useful. Although I kind of wish that the stats would improve some uh, exclusive blood, uh, blood raider parameters. For example, Nosferatu strength and range, neutralizer strength and range, you know, uh, Sladius Webifer range and things like that. Things that are unique for blood raiders, but still the current effects and bonuses are still, you know, pretty good, pretty useful. I can definitely take advantage of the speed and range and tracking, so... You win some, uh, you lose some, so uh, I've been thinking to get that one. Now when you go to the Conco store and when you go and take a look at the current nano course, as you can see I have 44,000 points. I need less than a thousand to be able to get one of these boxes. Here you can see the nano course for the six faction cruisers that are available. Again, uh, not available for Stratius or Orthus, uh, will be released in the next update, I believe, so I might actually end up and save for, uh, for them. But still, if you uh, are flying one of these six faction cruisers and if you want to improve them, the nano cores are still going to give you a very decent, a very decent boost uh, in performance. In the end, I might actually end up getting uh, both nanocores for the Ashimu and Orthos because these are the two main ships that I fly. Well then, um, let's jump in in the red machine and well, time to head out and well do what we're best at, you know, blast some ships. Okay, getting ready to warp to the first warp drive target. Active. Drone Hive Investigation, okay, setting my orbit at 38 kilometers. Should be a very interesting target. Not quite sure if I uh, fought a ship like this in, uh, in a while. So, uh, our first target for today will be a Megatron. Galante Tier 9 battleship. Almost a perfect warping. 50 kilometers in my optimal missile range. Orbit 44, 44 kilometers will point them. Obviously, I'll change my orbit to a closer orbit. Not for sure what kind of weapons they have. So, if they have long range weapons, then I'll stick with a closer orbit. Seems like they are not hitting me. That's good. I'm going to maintain this orbit and we'll continue sending missile after missile. They are now at 50% shield. All points are active. My scrambler here is used for defense mainly against interceptors and other frigates that might be able to catch me. Taking no damage from the Megatron so far. Probably using the close range railguns, I believe. They have a very decent rate of fire, as you can see. 
that are firing every three seconds. They are now in low shield. This Megatron is a shield tank. So far. They were also scrambled by one of the other pirates in the mission, as you can see. It's that destroyer that, uh, that you see over there. So, the Megatron has a scrambler and two points on them. The damage from the missiles started to be higher because now we are doing damage on the armor of the Megatron. The armor is going down very quickly, faster than the shield, way faster than the shield. Almost 5000 per volley. Megatron slowly going towards low armor. So far the local is quiet, only the two of us in this in this system. I'll be locking on that destroyer next just to destroy it before they start to scramble me. Megatron now in the hole. The hole should go down uh, faster than the than the armor. One or two more hits and this battleship will go down. Okay, one more hit. I did turn on the ballistic control. Alright, I'll just lock on the bomber. Nice, that was a nice kill. Okay, let's destroy that pirate and the, the bomber, then I can go after the loot safely without worrying about getting caught by these ships. Have to remember that I have literally no tank on this ship. It is... it is paper. So I have to be careful not to get caught by these pirates. Okay, the main threat has been destroyed. Now I can go and see what's inside of the wreck. Okay, nice, not bad. So they had a capacitor battery and a large armor repair in loot. Okay, not bad, that was nice. Let me take range and I'll wait out the criminal timer. Okay, let's scan. We'll have to help out a friend here because they are fighting with two ships. I have to scan, okay. We are going to warp in hot in this in this fight. Hopefully I am not going to be too late. Warp drive active. But I'm pretty sure that everything is under control. Dominix and Moa are the targets. So a Dominix with a Guardian. If they are in the bubble, it will be a difficult fight, because the Moatu Guardian is indeed a very tanky ship. Okay, there's the Dominix, the Moa is a little bit further away. Dominix will be the primary target. I will go in the orbit range. Dominix already taking some shield damage. Moa Guardian is a little bit far away, also, actually I'm not quite sure what's the Moa doing over there, but I'm pretty sure that both of them are shooting at our Cinnabal, so we'll have to remove the Dominics as quickly as I can. The Domi started to take massive shield damage, well of course adjust my orbit to the best possible range. I don't want to fly through the elite battleships. They have a scrambler and web. If I get scrambled and webbed, I am done for. So have to maintain range from all of these ships. 
Dominic's now taking armor damage. I will have to keep them at range. Dominic's slowly losing armor. I'm actually... I did actually fly through the elite ships, but they seem not to be interested in shooting me, so that's good. Kinda risky, but it all went thankfully without a problem. Dominix is now in hole. The secondary target will be the Moa 2 Guardian. 11 in local. Okay, nice. Dominix is destroyed. Ta time to time to go after the Moa 2 Guardian. The Moa has a large shield booster and very, very good resistances on the shield. Now I will maintain my range here, uh, don't want to fly through the elite ships again, so we'll keep the ship at range and of course at some, uh, at some times I will orbit. That's 98% resistance on the MOA. We will win when the... We will destroy the ship when the MOA loses its capacitor. Or if we can beat the tank of that Guardian. Let me just align myself towards that position. Well, I think the MOA had a damage control, because the damage abruptly started to increase. Already lost capacitor, but still uh, not enough damage for that, so I, I suspect that the MOA has a damage control. Nice, one more, one more hit, excellent. That was a good fight. Uh, we did destroy the enemy ships without much of a problem. Well, uh, I'm glad that I did warp in on time. So that was a that was a lovely catch. Well then, uh, I'll just get the loot and then we can go towards the next targets. Okay, well, um, this one will be uh, this one will be fun. We have a Balgorn and a Rattlesnake. Now, I'm still not, you know, I'm still not crazy enough to uh, plunge myself into two faction battleships, but oh man, I really want to just go and uh, attack them. But I have to wait uh, because we have more ships on the way. So I'll just, you know, keep keep these two ships um, in my in my field of vision. Now, it seems like they're not interested in locking me back, so now I'm really contemplating to to just go after and plunge myself between these two ships, but the drones on the Rattlesnake can be a problem. Now, we know, uh, drones are my main enemy when I'm flying the Ortus because I have literally no no resistances, so I can, I can engage and hold the Balgorn, but I'm not quite sure that I can engage and hold a Rattlesnake because of the drones. So, and I have been scanned, alright, let me just align myself just in case. These two are still here, oh, they are, yeah, they are, they are doing the mission still, okay. I'm just waiting for the big ships to arrive, then I can go inside of these two Oh, well then, um, I guess the fleet is a little bit too late. Uh, they are warping to the gate. Let's try this one. 
Let's see if they jump through the gate. I'm going to chase these two. If they decide to go and do the mission in the other Warp system. Drive active. The last time we did miss a Belgorn. Now I'm, I want to shoot down a Belgorn. The rattlesnake is just a a bonus. If it's not this gate, then it's yeah, it's it's the other gate over there. Let's warp to that gate. Let's see what they will do. They might actually re return to the warp to the drive mission. active. This is something that I wouldn't dare to do in any other ship. Uh, it's it's because the Ortus just has these very long points and where did the Balgorn go? There is the rattlesnake here still, so let's observe what this monster will do. It will clock! Okay. Clock and logged out. Well, the main Warp fleet was active. a little bit late on this one, so it's okay, I mean... I really did want to go and tackle one of these two ships, uh, but the drones did did kind of uh, make me have second second thoughts about that. All right, let's go to the next target. We have a Myrmidon. Okay, and it's red, so that's that's an extra bonus on top of on top of it being a Myrmidon. A drone boat. Yeah, I, I don't like to shoot down drone boats because they can hurt this cruiser quite badly. We'll orbit at 30 kilometers. I'm going to go in the range of my missiles and points. This ship is incredibly fast. Uh, it's one of the fastest cruisers in the game. Second fastest cruiser in the game after Cinnabon. Okay, uh, Murabiron pointed. Now we are opening fire. That was a big hit. This ship does have very impressive alpha damage. I might actually start to improve on the alpha damage on the Ortus because so far my main targets are cruisers and above. Nice, that was a nice kill. Good tackle on our Sakabas pilot. Again, I have to say, not not quite sure how many Sakabas pilots there are, but that guy over there is one of the best ones in the game, and I can. I can bet on that, to be honest. No joke, one of the best soccer bus pilots and overall one of the best frigate pilots that I know of in this game. Okay, next target. Warping at the planet, I believe. Yeah, it's, it's the planet, okay. Would be bad if I missed the warp. Went through the planet, okay, that's a... Uh, Warp drive mechanics. Bellicos, two cover tops. On top of that, it's a criminal. Alright. It's, you know, you don't see uh, us doing... Uh... Alright, let's, let's, let's keep that joke for myself. Um, let's just go and tackle the, the Bellicos, two cover tops. Tier 9 cover tops cruiser. First hit. It was a long warp, so I kind of missed out on a lot of more damage, but that's fine. Nice kill, let's grab the loot. Again, amazing tackle. And again, a good catch. Uh, I really I'm really starting to like miss a lot of targets. Uh, usually people warp off if I pop in the system. So... Having someone to tackle is always a very good idea. And of course, uh, teamwork does pay off a lot in the end. Alright, well, uh, let me just wait out the aggression timer that I have, and then I can proceed towards the drive next active. target. Overall, it was a pretty Warp good day active. so far. Very good kills. Well then, uh, bad hair day two. That's a tier 10 mission. This can go... You have to be careful when you're warping in these tier 10 missions with a ship like this because sometimes you warp in right in the... like this, right between the spawn. 
and it might be a problem. It can get dangerous because the ship Warp drive is active. not the tankiest one, not the tankiest ship that I own. So, so yeah, I have to be careful what I'm doing. Although uh, I'll play around with a different build. What do we have here? A oracle. All right, nice. Warp drive active. An oracle, to be more precise. Okay. Let's try to catch that. And usually, assault battle cruisers are long range, so I expect this one to be a long range as well. By some luck, I might. Okay, this is. They are too hard. Oh, that's way too far away. That's way too far away. They're over there. I can try this though. Uh, hopefully warp they did not active. see me pop in here, so let me just warp out, okay. Should reduce the distance by at least a hundred kilometers. We'll warp back in, of course, in a moment. Warp drive active. If I am lucky that Oracle is not paying attention to what's going on, so I still have the element of surprise. That's why I love my Stratus for, for this for this job. With a Stratus you can just sneak in and they don't see it coming. 106 kilometers, that's still way too far away, but let me just try and approach. With some luck I might actually catch this Oracle. I have 45 kilometer point, so just a little bit more distance, and yeah, they they did see that one, obviously. That Oracle has been doing a tier 10 mission. Now these are doing some damage. I have to let me just dock. Warp drive active. Already lost 50% of my shield. Yeah, that was a tier 10 mission. That pilot is tier 10. Probably a very nice Oracle as well. Alright, let's go towards the next one. Let's see what's going to happen here. Looks like a Minmatar system as well, haven't been here in a very long time. Cinnabal, now we're talking about something juicy, oh, okay. Let's lock on, although I should have... I should have approached first. Okay, Cinnabal has been tackled, excellent, let's burn towards it. Fair enough. Cinnabal had warp core stabs. Warp drive active. Oh, okay, was a nice try. Let's go towards the next one. Angel or Devil? Well, uh, the ship is looking like the devil I guess rock I've encountered only two of these ships ever uh, haven't shot down any of them so far because most of them are are doing that as you can see they're incredibly fast need to need to hire my Stratios for for that job now let me show you what I do when I find a AFK miner. Of course, I'm not shooting them down. I don't shoot miners, you know that. So let's see if this venture will wake up. I'll just, you know, bump the ships a couple times. Hopefully, uh, hopefully the shaking will wake up the, the pilot because they are here sleeping at this belt. And I really feel bad for shooting it. So I'm, I'm not going to shoot it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna play around with with this ship. Wakey wakey. <laughs> Are they going to wake up? Or And they have also drones out. Mark 3 Arcolits. Oh, okay, they they warped off. Good. As you can see, as you can see, the Warp bumping did work. 
Well then, that was fun. Uh, that in the end was me having fun with... That's what I usually do uh, with AFK miners in the belt, because I don't shoot them. Well then, uh, hope that you enjoyed. That was a lovely, uh, lovely ride. Thanks for everyone who participated in the fleet. And of course, thanks for our targets uh, for being good sport. As always, hope that you enjoyed. Stay safe, fly safe, and I'll see you next time.